When my wife and I decided to plant a church, we wanted to create a church for the city of Houston for people who didn't have a home that they can find a place to call home. No matter your background, we wanted you to feel welcome as soon as you walked into Vibe Houston. It's our desire here at our church to, to find people that need Jesus. And I'm excited to say that over the past year, God has been able to do great things through the, through the church of Vibe Houston. Even through the circumstances of this year, through COVID-19 and everything that's happened in, in our church, we can say that God has been faithful. We've seen His hands move in every single month of this year. We've seen healings, we've seen God restore people, change the lives of people, and we've been able to witness to people like never before through our online presence. Or you're about to see stories, lives of people that were just transformed in this past year. Where it might trigger some emotions, but praise God for what He has done in the lives of these people. This is our story, the story of a church for people that didn't have a church. And we're excited to say that over the past year, God has been good. We've only just begun. My name is Millie Cabello. Um, I've been in Houston area for about seven years now. Um, I'm a single mother of two beautiful babies. My son, who's 16, um, he's a junior in high school, and when my daughter just started middle school. She's 11 years old. It was about 2000 and maybe 2016, 17, I think it was. I was going through a um, difficult time in my marriage. And my prayers were, I want to find a church. And I know my mom also was like, you need to find a church, you know. And I would attend other other churches, but there was never like, I felt like home. It wasn't like that church that was home to me. And I felt comfortable. So um, finally, um, it was, I think last year that um, Rocio came to me and she, she said that they were going to start a church, they were planning a church and and I immediately thought my prayers were answered, you know, um, just going through a rocky marriage and going through a divorce, um, I knew that that was, that was really God talking to me and, and telling me, hey, this is, this is what you were looking for, this is going to be your home. I feel like it's been a place that I call home. I've been able to meet other people. Um, I'm not a person that really has a lot of friends. Um, so by became that family. I don't have family here in the Houston area, so they became my family, my friends. Um, they're the ones that supported me through the difficult time after, after my divorce. And um, it was really, like I said, a place that was my home my family and it, it drew me closer to God. Um, I've always had a relationship with God, but never this relationship that I have now um, with God. And I really feel like God has given me the strength and He has been there for me, my friend, really. And, and I really enjoy it. I like to greet people. I like to, to welcome them with a smile and be that first person that they see welcome them with a smile, so I really enjoy. God has, has given me the strength, has given me the strength that I, I, I never knew I had. Um, he has been that friend, the one that I every morning kneel and, and pray that um, he continues to give me that strength. Um, he has been my everything. Uh, without God, I, 
I don't know how I would do it all by myself. Because um, like I said, being a single mother of two, I work an hour away, um, don't have family. I sometimes don't even know how I do it. And I know it, it's God. I know it's me praying daily um, to give me the strength. And I know so many other people that pray for me to give me that strength. Because without God, um, there's, there's no way you can get through the day. There's no way that you can have that strength. So to draw close to God, to pray. I remember uh, growing up, um, I was introduced uh, to a lot of parties, a lot of drinking, uh, drugs as well. Um, I had fallen into uh, just kind of a routine um, where, where, where I just kind of kept stumbling. You know, it, it was just kind of hard to get back up. Um, I came to Christ uh, in October of 2018. Um, and uh, it, it actually started by my wife. I remember uh, that she, she'd invited me uh, to go, but it, it wasn't really something that I was interested in. Um, I, I was kind of the rebellious type at first. Um, so, so I remember uh, one day uh, that, that she had uh, said that she had wanted to give her life to Christ and be baptized. Um, so I had uh, told her, hey, well, you know what? I mean, if it's, if it's a special day uh, for you, I'll, I'll be there. So I went there uh, that day and every word that, that the pastor was saying just hit me like fire. Yeah, and that day I was touched by Jesus. So, so I remember when I had first started going to church, um, it was very different from what, what, what I was used to. Um, it, was, it was a suit and tie uh, thing, and it, it was a little much at first um, because I, I'm a pretty casual guy, and having to wear a suit and tie every Sunday um, was, was kind of a little uh, offsetting. And as time went on, um, things came to light that, that uh, um, ideologies of, of the religion were being more emphasized um, than, than, than Jesus. And, and that kind of, kind of started pushing me away a little bit. Um, and unfortunately, um, something happened uh, at that church uh, that, that ended up pushing us away ended up walking away from the church uh, kind of hurt. What, what, what I was more so trying to find was, was somewhere where, where I can belong and not try to put a mask on so I can fit that religion, but more so, I mean, just connect with Jesus. When, when I first got to Vive, one thing that, that I'll never forget what, what Pastor George uh, said was, at here, we're not looking for the perfect person. We're not looking uh, for, for, for people that, that got everything figured out. What, what, what we're looking for is people that are jacked up, people that are messed up, uh, people that, that can admit that they need Jesus. And that, that really stuck with me because I can identify with that. I, I come from, from drugs and partying and, and, um, and, and that lifestyle, and I'm, I'm not perfect, and I can admit that. And when, when I got to, to, to Vive Houston, it was, just, it was just so heartwarming to feel accepted uh, that it, it's okay to not be okay. And Jesus loves everyone just the same. We actually have uh, something called Vive Groups every Wednesday night. And um, that, that allows us to kind of open up and we, we, we have our Bible studies and we ask questions and, and, and we're able uh, to kind of engage with one another that way. And, 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 and we're constantly learning and sharing and receiving the word uh, as well. And uh, it, it, it's, it's just been a, a blessing for us. We have uh, four kids and uh, we, we, we actually uh, have them participating in uh, Vibe Kids at church and they love it. I, I mean, they're constantly learning uh, the, the Bible stories and they're always doing activities and there's always something for them to do.
God truly answered our prayer and, and He's been moving in our lives and in our children's lives ever since. Twenty twenty was only just the beginning. We're believing for this next year to be filled with miracles, for God's hand to continue to work in our lives and in the lives of those that will be coming to Vive Houston. We're believing for our lives to be transformed. We're believing for the dead to rise, not only physically but spiritually. We're believing for healing. We're believing for restoration in families and marriages. We're believing for God just to do an outpour of His presence, of His Spirit. We're believing for new miracles in this year to come. We are believing in this upcoming year, God is gonna to continue to move through the ministry of Vive Houston. We believe that we're just getting started. We've only just begun. This is our story. Imagine what God can continue to do. We wanna challenge the church that in this next year to dream bigger than before, to seek God more than ever before, and to win lives and change the world like never before. We are still believing the mission is true. Revive the city, revive the world.